Mongoose Jake here with my review of Busby's Gem Blasters. Available in a two pack for $10, or at least that's how I purchased mine. They come with the two blasters on a little card backing, and I've saved the card backing just, just basically to show that. They come with the long distance arts, claim a 100 foot range, and basically, what are they? They are a front loaded, rear primed, three shot pistol. And these do not use a smart AR system like Nerf, which, for a quick explanation, Nerf uses a system that they call Smart AR that takes the air that's powered through the spring and the piston and channels it into the barrels in a sequence, meaning barrel number one, two, three, and it goes through a channel. And it will fire them off in that order, but it also will fire off if you put a dart anywhere, because you're opening the dart is actually pushing a valve open and the air flows through there. Drawbacks of that is that the number one barrel on Nerf system will be more powerful than the second or the third. It, they will get consecutively weaker. Busby system, however, uses a rotational mechanism inside the blaster. It's very simple. It's not very complicated at all. As you prime the blaster back, you're not only compressing the spring, it twists the front end of the whole assembly and lines it lines up the plunger tubes opening to one of the barrels. It ends up be, being a direct jet of air into whatever barrel it lined up to. So each barrel has equivalent power and it turns in a, a counterclockwise way so that you can, you know, basically once you've loaded, I'll throw in a few darts here actually and show you, I'll throw in a mixture of darts for my chronograph test and you'll get to see how this works. When you prime it back, right now I don't know which barrel is going to fire. Okay, top one did. Now this one over here will. Now this one. And I know that because of that counterclockwise motion. And as you see, that they came out of there with a little pop. So going on to the performance aspect of this. This thing is a powerhouse. I have fired both of these, and there is a small variation between the two. And just to show you, there's also a variation in appearance. If you notice closely, this has a white insert here, and it has a little raised section on the shell, plus it has a contoured and textured uh, grip, whereas this one's a smoother, sleeker look with a black insert on the grip. They're different in the shell only, but that means that Busby has two molds for these blasters, and they, they uh, alternate them in the package, so you're not handing out two identical blasters. So you can hand the white one off to somebody, and the black accent and one off to somebody else, and battle it out, or if you just, your personal self, if you if you bought them and you've got a, a preference, you can choose one you like and hand off the other one, give it away, because these are only $10. But back onto the performance. I did have a small variation in the performance when I chronograph tested these. This one was averaging around 76 to 77 feet per second, while this pushed a high of 78 to 79. That's amazing for our pistol, that is palm sized. I was talking about how the, uh, in my most recent review of the Nerf Doomlands holdout, how I thought the 71 to 72 feet per second performance of it was pretty good for Nerf. These things blow it out of the water. I mean, this is, this is actually better performance out of both of these than this massive Nerf Raptor Strike behind me. Just so you can see, the little pipsqueak pistol outperforms the massive sniper rifle. And that's why you, you really can't judge a, a package by its cover. This this thing here, or you can't judge a book by its cover. That's the saying. This thing literally is as potent as you could possibly expect it. You don't expect much when you open these things up. But the first time you fire it, you're like, hmm, whoa, that actually has a little bit of pop to it, which I'll show you again. I'm actually quite impressed with these per performance-wise. You could modify it. This system is, the system as I explained, actually takes to modifying better than the Nerf Smart AR system. But that actually has a pretty good amount of pop, which is actually denting the leather in my chair over there. <laughs> but the, the Busby Gem, good performance, like exceptional performance for its size. Very good value. Two blasters, double the ammo, all for $10. And personal, personal preference here, I think they look nice. 
And while the while they're small, they're not uncomfortable. That that priming bar, easy to catch with two hands. The grip, it's small, but it's not uncomfortably so. I mean, this is a pistol meant to be able to go in somebody's pocket. And Busby has pulled it off very well. So I'm going to wholeheartedly recommend the gem. Pick them up. Again, it's got a two-pack for $10. I'll put a link in the description below where you can get them. I bought mine locally at my Kmart here in town where I live. So I would recommend that. But I will put a link if you don't have one nearby so that you can order it. Because I personally think this one, does, this one definitely has a direct comparison. The Nerf Triad is what you would compare this to as a small three-shot pistol. It doesn't have the power of these, and it doesn't have the full-on mod ability if you're looking to retain the single dart per shot. So, just something to think of. I think that this, for $10, is a great deal. And I, I will wholeheartedly recommend it. This is Mogus Jake with my review of Busby's Gen Blaster. Thanks for watching.